Hello fellow commanders and welcome back to more Elite Dangerous. So, what we're going to go over today is some ships that you might want to look into when you're just starting. Uh, some things that you might want to take into consideration. And as we go down the line, we're going to learn more about how to make money, the current state of what Elite Dangerous is, and what's going to happen from there. Let's get started. All right, so as of right now, I have a joystick. As of right now, the best way to make money was mining. Not so much anymore. There's been a big change uh, on the mining front, which something called uh, low temperature diamonds was the best thing to grab, and they've completely changed that. So we're currently waiting on a rework. So, as of right now, the best way to make money, well, is whatever you like. It's mainly passenger missions, but you want to make sure that you check how far away things are. Let me give you an example. So, you're in a port right now. You're ready to go. You finally made it in. You want to do some missions. It's fine. First of all, find out where you are. Find out who controls the sector. And let's go to the mission board. Now, if you have something that you're looking for, for example, a type of ship that is rank locked, you want to kind of do, uh, you want to find out where the best missions are for that, um, for that superpower. So, this is a Federation area. So, for example, if we go into, uh, we'll go into the network here. See what they have. So we have economic data acquisitions. So everything that you do in here is going to tell you your recommended rank, what you need to do, and then it also tells you that once it's completed, you have a choice of three different rewards. So for this, you'd get 830,000 credits with some reputation, some influence. Next one is some money, a lot of reputation increase. And the last one is Focus Crystals, which are rarity items that you would want to use for engineers, which we'll go over at a later time. So when you would accept something like this, typically it would tell you where to go. So for this one, we would want to go here. And what we need to do is we need to infiltrate a settlement. So this is more than likely going to be on a planet and interact with a data link. So basically, you would need an SRV for this, which is going to be your rover. And you would want to go there, get the data, which is scanning it, and then come back, and then you get your money or whatever you choose. Everything here is going to pretty much tell you what you need and you want to outfit to what you're going to look for. Now, this little blue symbol here on the side, that shows that it's better off done in a, in a wing, meaning with friends. So you can look at each of these. Now, these may not be what you're looking for. As you level them up, better quests are going to come for you. So better missions, better money, all that good stuff. So you picked what you wanted. Now you got to outfit what you're looking for. Well, let's take a look at outfitting. So I'm using an anaconda right now. This this anaconda is very bare bones because I use it for passenger missions. But you would want to make sure if you were doing, say, a planetary ordeal, you'd want to make sure that you had something like you, you would want a planetary vehicle. So this would allow you to put a rover on the ground once you land. Whereas if you are making long trips, you'd want to have a fuel scoop. Now, fuel scoop allows you to refuel over a star, certain stars, as you're exploring. Uh, now, exploration does also give you a lot of good stuff, which I'll, I'll talk about in a second. One of the things that I recommended last time, very important, I would say, at least for me, to get is to try to get super cruise assist. But if you can't get that and you're good at the whole 
staying in the blue, pressing J when you want to. Let's get an advanced docking computer. So all you have to do is request the docking, press X to stop, and let everything else do what it's doing. Go grab some food, go grab some water. By the time you come back, you'll be docked to be ready to go. That is very important to get. So you have everything ready. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to go to where it tells you to do it. When you get all that done, you're going to come back, hopefully alive. Turn it in, your influence will go up. What else you might see on here is your shipyards. So when I was talking before about different, different ships needing a certain rank, you can see the federal stuff, you need a rank of midshipman or higher, chief petty officer or higher. This is going to come with pretty much going out and doing kill missions or missions that involve assassinating or hurting you know killing pirates and things like that or like on here going to a nav beacon shooting down people Let's see if this has a don't believe this one does but there are sometimes uh sometimes you're going to find the resource extraction zones low resource extraction zones high and hazardous to start off i would go low it's a very safe place to go for you a lot of security you go there and you end up fighting off some baddies that's all it is and then once you're done you come in here you're going to come to your contacts and you're going to go through to your authority contacts once you get your local bounties, you'll be able to turn that in for credits. Now, if you do blow up or die, especially when you're docking, you lose those. So, let's not do that. Okay? Sounds good. So, right here, we're going to show you that we're going to launch out. Now, this is all automated. And this is the beauty of a not only advanced auto docking to come in, but also to leave. You don't have to worry about leaving. So we're going to take off here. My hands are not on the keyboard. It's doing all this by itself. If there's another ship in front of you, it'll put you in a queue. Make sure you don't crash. Sometimes it scrapes the bottom. And everything's not perfect. What can you do? But while we're waiting here, I will let you know that uh, I will be coming out with a video on... The best place at the moment to make money and any updates that do come out excuse me i did not enter any station thank you very much anyway and any updates that we get that have to do with uh money making or mining so if you want to end up doing mining which is a little bit more interesting actually combat would be would be more interesting than anything else but once we get an update on what's going on with uh the mining scenario and the whole updates or balancing that they're doing i'll definitely include that in another video i'm also going to be going over a place called dav's hope soon which is a place where you can get a lot of the the um materials needed for engineering and it's actually a really interesting place. It's got a whole lore and story to it. So, yeah. So, this is a short episode today. Just wanted to get a couple things with the uh, with the starport in. And uh, while we're here, let me just show you real quick how the auto docking works as you go in. First, you got to be uh, closer to the starport than I am. So you'll see there it says Hawking Port. 8.7. Okay, so you want to be 7.5. Go to Contacts. Select the port. Request docking. So it'll say Landing Pad 4.1. So right now, if I didn't have the auto docking, I'd be doing this by myself. Which I've done for a lot. I've done for a long time. And I've messed it up a lot. Which a lot of other people have, unfortunately. So with this... What it's going to do is it's going to do the exact same thing that it did as you were going in. It's going to 
Take you on the green side, which green is good, red is bad. It's going to line it up the best it can. Again, it might scrape depending on the size of your ship. And you are going to head in. Now, while we're waiting again, if I had to recommend... It's going to scrape. Oh, it didn't. If I had to recommend the ship to start saving up for, I would have to say it's the ASP Explorer. Not the Scout, but the Explorer. It's a very good multi... Uh, multi, multi everything ship. It can do mining, it can do combat, it can do exploration. All that good stuff. And one final thing. If you do any, um, if you do any exploration and you start finding different things, make sure you go to Universal uh, Cartographics and make sure that you sell it. Because not only is that going to be good for your wallet, but it's also going to be good for reputation gain. Besides that, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today's episode. I appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to hit that sub button. It's free. Helps me a lot. Hit that like button. Let me know, know down in the comments what you guys want to see next. Besides what I've already told. Besides that, this is Commander Twisted Manifest signing out. 07 Commanders.